what's up guys so today we are going to the second part of our lesson which is preparing our 3d studio max files so the first thing i just want to uh, show you guys is to make sure that your system scale is correct because a lot of uh people who use 3d studio max they use millimeters as uh their units when they uh, do up their models but as Unreal Engine is using centimeters, we just have to make sure that everything in our 3ds uh, file is correct. So, without further ado, let's just open up our file. So, if you model your 3D Studio files in millimeters, and if you set up um, our 3ds files later. Uh, based on what I've shown you in the first session where our unit scale is based on centimeters you realize that uh, you'll be prompted with this pop-up box this is very important because if you do not rescale your models back to centimeters when you import into Unreal Engine the files or rather the models will be really huge 10 times as big so when you move around and explore it will feel like a giant house so we have to rescale our models into centimeters so in this case we will follow the system unit scale and once that is okay uh, we are pretty safe okay after we have rescaled our file the next step is to rename our mesh uh, or rather rename our meshes well it's not a necessary step but there are two advantages to this the first one is we work with a more organized way of naming so we have more smarter way of naming our uh, things when we work in Unreal Engine the other reason why we have to rename is if we are using TS tools to export our models into Unreal Engine the names have to be uh, unique there cannot be a repeat of names uh, if there is a repeat you realize that when you export to Unreal Engine uh, some of the models they will uh, they'll be pretty screwed up so for completeness sake uh, let's just start to rename so our, meshes. Them, our meshes uh, in a way that is more understandable for me when I work in Unreal Engine later so for example these are kitchen stools so I will rename them as kitchen stools or high chair and uh, I like to put a uh, SM in front, which stands for static meshes, kitchen underscore high chair, and so on and so forth. So the this is the kitchen sink, kitchen sink. Okay, I'll continue to do f for the rest. Okay, so right now. I have uh, finished naming most of uh, the things so as you can see uh, I have given them more meaningful names like the balcony for my railings bathroom accessories um, lamp pillows uh, you probably won't need all this uh, when you are when you have more projects done in Unreal because you can migrate your furnitures from Unreal Engine so but now since everything is modeled in 3d studio max it's a lot cleaner this way for the rest of the things that i have not unnamed i can't uh i can't really give them a a specific name per se so for things like this i will just um combine all of them and uh, give it a common name like uh for example i'll give it uh let me just remove the camera first because you don't need the camera in Unreal, we will we can't import the camera anyways. So the lights as well. So uh, this one is uh, pictures frame. Okay. So for the rest, where it is not named, I will just just to make sure I've named everything. I'll just name them a common name right uh, maybe SM classical apartment so by doing so we make sure that every single mesh every single 
uh, model inside our 3D file they are unique they do not have a repeated name so it's a bit tedious but uh, it's good practice so let's move on okay so after we rename our, our meshes what we have to do is to convert our V-Ray materials into standard materials if you have installed the the tools or the script that uh, we have installed previously this can be done easily so what we have to do is we just go to max script uh, run script you should see a 3d ver tools here uh, v-ray material converter and then you double click on this you have this pop-up window just click v-ray material to standard material okay and uh, uh, yes okay 57 materials converted so the diffuse map of what you have attached to your models will be imported into unreal when you have done this okay so uh, make sure we save and let's move on to the next portion the next portion is uh, to UVW unwrap our models this is very important because the lighting data is stored in uh, this uh, like maps they are stored in the channel 2 of our UVW unwrap so what we have to do uh, in the past what before there was a steam roller script what you have to do is to go to every mesh choose the unwrap modifier set it to channel 2 and then flatten everything uh, this is a bit small okay let me show maybe this okay uh, something that is okay the curtains all right so UVW unwrapped choose the face set the channel to select all flatten our map okay so I didn't manage to flatten that map I think 3d studio max just died on me so we're just going to forget about that and just use the steam roller script it's a lot faster and it's a lot easier okay so right now we're gonna apply the steam roller script uh, just select all click on the steam roller set to channel 2 and unwrapped okay so we'll just let it do its work and we'll come back later all right we have successfully unwrapped every model so if you just or rather every mesh is if you just click on the meshes you see that there's uh an unwrap uvw with channel 2 done okay and the last step is to export it into a fbx file okay so we just select all export it to uh let's just put it on a desktop i like to call it export save and like i say just make sure that it is the units is automatic and you can see that it is in centimeters that's it just let studio max do its work and let's have a cup of coffee all right and there are some warnings about uh, a few things i think we'll just ignore it for now as it doesn't really matter in unreal engine so let's just click okay all right and you are done and the last part of this class or session is skipping the ts tools well remember i taught you how uh, to install the ts tool script I'm not using it now as I find that there are some issues with exporting it. So I'm going to teach you another way. If you follow the steps that I've taught you in this um, lesson, it should be fine. So we don't need to use TS tools for now. All right. So that's all for this class. Um, stay in tune for our next class. That's all. Bye.